for giving me this chance. I shall present my screen. Yeah, yeah. So talking about um, the DIT campuses, there are more than 10 campuses across the Bavarian district. The main Degendorf Institute of Technology has been marked in blue color, whereas the campus Kham is being marked with a heart in purple color. And in the next slide, you can see all the 13 campuses which are provided by the Deckendorf Institute of Technology across the Bavarian district. Talking about studying in Kham, uh, studying in campus Kham is an experience of its own. The campus has been equipped with the state of the art technology, and this helps the, uh, the campus to become the center of the digital startups for the aspiring founders. The the study course is revised in every six months once the student review is being done and the calm is not an expensive city to live in with the moderate living expenses when compared to the other states uh, other 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 places such as uh, regensburg munich and nuremberg which are way more expensive as compared to calm 62 euro fees um, is the semester contribution which is being which is to be made by every student, which makes a really affordable place to study in campus Kham, and the university uh, and university is also been partnered with the regional industrial partners such as Mechatronic Compensate Networks Ospan. So in DIT, the student uh, student involvement is been very much uh, kept in the mind. So. And there are uh, these are the two recently happened uh, um, events that took place in DIT. One is the uh, culinary trip around the world, where the students were, required, were were told to bring some of their eatable things, which are being made in their regional places, and gave a taste to the other international students. And the other is the uh, traditional day, where the students were requested to wear the traditional clothes on the on the particular day so that everyone can get to know the culture of their own places, of the other's places and own places. Studying at, uh, studying at THD uh, gives you two options in the field of bachelor's and also in the master's. Going towards the bachelor's program, this will be a, sem a seven semester program where the students can opt for, uh, for bachelor's in mechatronics and uh, digital production. And going towards the master's program, here the students are given in, given the two choices in the form of mechatronics and also in the form of mechatronics and cyber physical system known as CPS and also in the form of artificial intelligence for smart sensors and actuators. Both of the master's degree program are in English, whereas the bachelor's degree program uh, took, take place in German taught. So talking about the future scope of the program for the, uh, for the artificial intelligence uh, for smart sensor and actuator actually describes the subdisciplines of this computer science along with uh, with uh, with solving the problem in the form of digital man and digital intel uh, intelligent manners with giving the control over the embedded part through the smart sensors and actuators and the qualification for scientifically founded activities in that particular area helps determine the student to tackle the problems of data processing, data analyzing, and automation by the mean of intelligent systems to keep the quality assurance and teaching intact. Whereas going towards the creative part of the department, the students learn a, a whole lot of stuff in the form of machine learning, data science, robotics, and system designs. So talking about the course, the course actually helps the students to tackle the uh, the upcoming problems which the uh, which the industry is actually facing since it is a technical course the students are taught the neural network in the form of rnn or cnn and also gave a solid uh, grip over the embedded control for the smart sensor and actuator the sensor technology in the form of mews or memms are also being taught along with the method of controlling the networks in the form of wired or also the wireless networks the data processing is being taken um, by the help of uh, da big data and cloud computing, along with the studies of uh, model-based system designs. So talking about the course name itself, here you can see we have actually divided the course into smart sensors and also the smart actuators. Talking about the smart sensor, the smart sensor actually uh, pre-processes a signal to a sensor 
which monitors the algorithm for safeguarding the function. And since it is a smart sensor, it can work independently. So the power supply in some case is being given externally or independently. Uh, and, the, and the impulse is being monitored through an uh, connected, uh, connected uh, tech via the help of uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or also 5G. So talking about the smart actuator part, here this uh, here this signal processing is being done and monitored by the mechanism and the method of communication, which makes the actuator part a lot more reliant and intelligent, which enhances the performance. I'm giving you a uh, brief overview about the course. The course has been divided into three semesters, which occur in this time span of 18 months. The first semester uh, compliances of six subjects and two case studies in the form of artificial intelligence, um, machine learning, deep learning, microsystems, and uh, data acquisition and control, uh, with the other two subjects of uh, microcontroller architecture and model-based function designing, along with two case studies in the form of embedded control solution and also the, um, uh, the case study of smart sensors and actuators. Going towards the second semester, here the students will be given a brief, in, uh, brief introduction about the big data computer vision, uh, along with the algorithm of autonomous systems and autonomous robotics with two case studies in the form of intelligent systems and autonomous systems. And there is also a, a FWP a technical elective course a subject, which has to be uh, opted by the student in the second semester. Going towards the third semester, the students have to study the system designs and also the system in intercommunications. They also have to give the, uh, they give the master seminar presentation along have to pr perform the master thesis. Going towards the practical aspect, the course has been equipped with four out of seven modules for the case studies, which gives the enhanced knowledge of, of the practical reliance, which the industry requires to consolidate the, uh, the social com competence. And talking about the uh, course of compulsory technical elective subjects, here you can see there's a range of the uh, range of subjects which are actually updated after every semester so that the current topics are taken in charge of, in charge and the whole course has been provided by the virtual university of bavaria for the fwp well the campus has been equipped with uh, with the uh, with the state of the art equipments for the laboratory in the form of it manufacturing robotics and automation here the in the field of it uh, manufacturing the university provides different type of 3D printers, uh, which uses different type of, uh, of methods to, uh, to manufacture the goods in the form of laser steering, stereolithography, material jitting process, rapid prototyping, to name a few. And talking about the robotics part, there's a collaborative, there are the collaborative robots along with the industrial robots to give the, give the students a perfect hands-on experience about the autonomous systems and the system uh, and the software system simulation along with the virtual launch and digital factories and talking about uh, the automation uh, automization part which is last but not the least gives the student uh, the experience of the drive technology decentralized drive technology a 3d scanner the measurement tools and also the process development parts along with the uh, simulation and model based engineering so talking about the innovation lab innovation lab is used as a co-working space for the startups which are which enables the collaboration between the students and the startup scenes the two supporting pillars in the innovative labs are uh, are the factors planning the virtual commissioning and also the area of production including the collaborative robots and the IT manufacturing goods and the good dispensing area through the uh, augmented reality or the virtual reality. The students can receive the valuable insights into the modern, dev uh, modern development and production process processing units in the form of industry 4.0 demonstrators. And the university also provides the whole bunch of free softwares where the students can get a practical hands-on experience. So talking about some of the projects which have been performed by the students, here is one of them in which 
the keyring is being designed in SolidWorks, um, and the main objective of this um, uh, of this project was to use two two different type of materials at the same time um, during the the process of 3D manufacturing. As you can see, uh, the white color and the brown color are both being manufactured uh, being um, stacked uh, simultaneously. Talking about another project, the students develop uh, develops and designs an automated guided uh, vehicle system, also known as AGVS, which runs on the basic principle of LIDAR scanner. LIDAR scanner is also known as light detecting and ranging system that uses sonar technology, S-O-N-A-R. The student project, uh, this was also one of the student project which was being perform in their thesis. Uh, the main objective of this project was to give the, uh, give the direct control of the uh, robot using a hand gesture in the field of uh, pick and place workplace. And the robot used over here was a FANUC robot and deep learning was used uh, for the hand, hand gesture recognition. So the sensor lab is been equipped with mainly four uh, four aspects, whereas three of them are hardware, and the fourth one is the software. Talking about the hardware part, the sensor is been uh, the sensors are equipped by the industry, uh, industrial industrial uh, info uh, in Internet of Things, industrial Internet of Things, in the um, in the areas of angle sensor, speed sensor, temperature sensor, and pressure sensor giving the whole experience to the student for what the industry really looks like this uh, university provides different microcontroller chips in the form of arduino boards uh, such as arduino mega arduino uno arduino r3 jetson kits and also the raspberry pi and talking about the temperature devices the university facilitates students to get their hands on over the um, temperature calibrators and temperature chamber uh, temperature cycle chambers which can go as low as minus 55 degrees centigrade to 200 degrees centigrade. Talking about the fourth part, which is the software part, the university provides the student ID to get some free hands-on industrial uh, experience for the students to get the to get the exposure of how the uh, so industrial software works, such as SolidWorks, CATIA, um, uh, Solid uh, Solution, CATIA, um, MATLAB, and uh, Microsoft 360 to name a few. So the places where the sensor uh, technology is being actually used is actually uh, uh, are actually robotics, the portable devices which are highly rely uh, reliant on the sensor technology for your ECG, blood heart, uh, blood heartbeat, and some other stuff. Here you can see that medical uh, medical sector and the healthcare sector is also been highly relied on the sensor technology since the past two decades. The automobile industry took uh, take the sensor technology to a whole new level with their ADAS features, which we are going to talk in the later slides. And the smart city, uh, smart city and production also are very much dependent on the sensors, and sensor play a major role while. Uh, design uh, while uh, while crafting and designing and flying the drones and the aircrafts. Talking about the sensors in a car, here you can see that the newly developed uh, technology, also known as ADAS, artificial uh, autonomous driving for artificial intelligence systems, uh, which uses the these many type of uh, sensors in the form of GPS, radar, infrared, uh, speed ultrasonic and lidar scanner uh, that 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 houses the uh, adas feature of a car giving you a brief about the alumni we are having a wide range of uh, of students working in the industry of uh, of automate of automation aerospace aeroscience material processing manufacturing industry robotics product development and research development to name a few so if you want to actually get the admission in DIT, you need you need to have a bachelor's in the relevant course with a minimum 210 ECT, along with along with the uh, language proficiency in English for a minimum B2 and the German proficiency of A2. 
as required by the university pr premises. And you also need to clear uh, aptitude assignment that is based on the higher mathematics, including integration, differentiation, to name a few, with, along with the electrical engineering, informatics, physics, and control engineering. So application period for the same, uh, for the same has been given over here. Uh, since the summer semester is going to commence uh, from the 15th of March, the application uh, duration for uh, for the winter sem uh, for the summer semester starts from 15th of November till 15th of January, and for the winter semester commencing at 1st of October, the students have to apply uh, within a period of 15th April to 15th of July, and all the applications are being taken by the help of uh, Primus portal and the person whom they can contact is Miss Bettina Whitman. Her number and her email address is also been shown over here. So if you have any of the queries regarding any of the uh, any of the courses of DIT, uh, especially artificial intelligence for smart sensor and actuators, you can contact uh, contact the student centrum and also and the two person to contact are also being shown over here uh, by the name of Stephanie Leek and Susanne Bain. This is how I am going to rest my presentation. I hope you would uh, like this thing.